On September 24, 2012, eight people climbed into 80-foot trees to block construction of the Keystone XL pipeline, which will carry poisonous tar sands from Alberta, Canada to the Gulf of Mexico. Blockaders have already delayed construction at three other sites across Texas before clearing crews reached a tree village located in Winsboro, Texas. Their platforms are directly in the path of the pipeline and construction cannot proceed until the tree sitters come down and the TransCanada Corporation clear cuts through hundreds of trees to make way for their toxic tar sands pipeline. I'm from North Texas and I'm here because the extraction of tar sands is destroying our planet and I don't want to spend the rest of my life having to clean up the mess that previous generations decided to put in place for us. The extraction of this type of fuel is much worse than any other type that we've seen. The only method that we can find now to actually do anything about it is nonviolent direct action. Seeing the pipeline as a major component of increasing tar sands production and extraction, I want to see whatever it takes to get this pipeline stopped for good. I'm here because I think this pipeline is careless and it's going to devastate the environment and it's going to harm a lot of people and a lot of living beings. Part of being here has also motivated me to keep being here. Because, I mean, you could just look around, like, this place is beautiful. And I don't want to see it destroyed. It's kind of a, a crossroads in my mind between what's been socially acceptable and what hasn't in terms of the resistance. I think uh, we, we're living on a dying planet. Most people are either unaware or uh, unwilling to acknowledge the reality of what's really going on and who's responsible. I think it's really important to help people to acknowledge where we're at and show them that resistance is not only possible but necessary. Um, I feel obligated uh, ethically to be here. I feel like I need to do everything I can to stop the climate change and stop the environmental destruction in general that um, our society creates constantly and has created constantly uh, since its inception. We need to transform society so that it's actually sustainable, undo all forms of oppression against ecological systems as well as social systems that oppress individuals um, and groups in our society. And I feel like this is tied up in basically all of those things. It's, I'm here for justice. I'm here because I feel morally obligated to do everything I can to stop the omnicidal machine that uh, is our system. Another key facet of this campaign, and another one of the reasons I'm here, is to inspire more folks to take this kind of direct action and to sort of escalate in terms of what tactics we find acceptable and to you know, strengthen the movement and inspire more folks to come out here and do the same. It's a, it's a flashpoint for being able to stop the burning of fossil fuels. It's called the Keystone Pipeline, and I think that's fitting because if we can stop it, or at least build a movement that can, if we fail to stop the pipeline, we can build a movement that can stop, you know, bigger things in the system.